What's up everybody, it's CMP with Craftmaster Productions and Studio12Tutorials.com. Don't forget to stop by Studio12Tutorials, pick up your premium membership, it's 50 cents a day. Also, don't forget to stop by CMPKids.com, get yourself a copy of Six Pack Volume 1. It is $5.75, special discount for Memorial Day weekend, Six Pack Volume 1. Um, don't forget to stop by MG The Future's channel on Sunday and take a look at Spicy Sundays every Sunday, the spiciest producer podcast on YouTube. Now, today we're gonna be looking at something that applies in FL Studio, it applies in Ableton Live, and it sure applies in Studio One, and any doll you wanna use, we are going to be looking at how to use the MPC software as a just a, to trigger drums without a MIDI controller, right? This is something that I've recommended. I like the I like uh, the drum workflow in the MPC software. I would use it even if I did not have the controller. Now, here's the thing: MPC software. Uh, people would call it a DAW. People tend to use it like a DAW. Um, it is, it, it, it's the software that is in the standalone MPC controllers and you can make a whole song in it, right? Understand that what we're doing is we're just using it to do drums. And what you want to do when you get into a workflow like this, when you're already using a full service DAWs, you don't, it, there's a tendency to want to take advantage of as many, uh, uh, features as possible in the VST. Don't don't we're just using it to trigger drum samples um you know use it for you know use it for maybe like the mpc 60 or mpc uh 3000 um uh the bounce textures and we're using it for the swing that's it that's it we're not um we're not doing anything else keep it simple so in order to do drums in the mpc um all you gotta do is 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 put it you know put, pull it up as a plugin and then you know, drag sounds into onto a pad and then you've got, um, you know, you've got, you've got drums that you can play. I'm using, I'm using a MIDI keyboard right now. Now, one of the things that you're going to want to keep in mind is that when, when MPC starts, um, these, these, uh, uh, pads will not be assigned chromatically on your keyboard like that they, they won't be assigned in the order that you expect them to so what you got to do is you got to go to file edit and you need to go to program and you need to go to map note mapping right and once you do this it gives you a choice you can either do classic mpc which you could see it's a1 it, it's like backwards and then and then you know a3 jumps to jumps to f sharp like that doesn't make any sense so if you do chromatic c1 you see it it, it goes up it, it goes up in alphabetical order that is what you want um and then of course you can edit it and make it you know and, and make it to your liking but this is the, this is the easiest way and if you wanted to like uh play on c3 you just start on the b pad whatever anyway point is the point is now say and this is why it's important say you're not comfortable right you're not comfortable working inside of the um inside of this inside of this vst what you can do now what you can do now is you can get rid of it you can close it you could go down you could go down to c1 um and you could do a couple things right you can go to you can go you can make a midi part all right, hold up. You can make a MIDI part and you can convert it to a pattern and then go down to your C1, you know. So if you're so if you're uh so if you're a step if you're a step sequencer guy or, or pattern edit guy, uh real easy to do that. Um if you if you're more inclined to want to use the piano roll.
So now you got something like this. You know, and if you, you know, and if you're used to like, um, you know, if you're like me and you're used to the studio, uh, you know, your key commands and being able to, and being able to split a grid and wanting, you know, wanting to do all that, this makes it easy. All right. So then, then you might wonder, okay, well, um, you know, I thought the point of this was to be able to use the swing inside of the NPC. And if you know, in order to use the swing inside of inside of one of these drum sequencers, the MIDI has to be inside of the actual drum sequencer. And the great thing is, in order to do that now, all you got to do is hit record and play it in. All right. And it's going to and, and whatever, um, like whatever velocities that that you used those are gonna those are gonna copy over um and you'll have it so now what we can do is we can do like all the stuff that i would do with with my actual with my actual npc so i could go up here to the time correct options pull up the settings and what i like to do like i, I, I want to make sure that i have this selected so make sure that this is highlighted because i just want to do it on the event that's selected i want it to be on i want it to start and I want to change this swing to 51. This is my hi hats, and I want it to be 116 because 116 is my smallest <clears throat> is my smallest note that, note that I'm using, right? So I'll go ahead and do that. Now my hi hats will be shifted, and you can, um, you know, if you want to like look at it, you could see you can see how it shifts it forward in the grid now. Okay, cool. So now I can go into there. You go to edit time correct. We're going to go to settings. Uh, my kick notes are on eighth note, so I'm going to set to eight. And I'm going to change this swing to 53. And I'm not going to shift the timing of it. I'm going to set that back down to zero. Go to do it. And for, my, uh, for this bounce snare, I'm going to do the same thing. Let's go to file, edit, time correct, settings, go to eight. I'm gonna I'm make this swing, I'll make this swing like 55 and I'm gonna shift it, all right? Make sure, <laughs> make sure that you got your, uh, you got this MIDI off. Now, if you want to, you know, if you want to uh, mix these sounds a little bit, as you click on them, this will th this will be the actual pad. You see A2, it, it lines up with what you got there. Um, and for the snare or for the clap, I'm going to I'm going to adjust that also. I like to pull that back. So. Time correct. Settings. All right. And then you could take this, you know, if you want to highlight it, press command D. Drag it back over. Now, now what I do is I will, <clears throat> what I want to do is I want to export these, um, you know, as their, you know, as their own stems, right? Because I like, I, I like to get the drums and audio. I don't know. I'm one of those people that thinks that thinks audio drums in the timeline hit harder than in a VST. I don't know what that's about. Um, I don't, I don't care to argue it. <laughs> it's what, it's what I think, and it's how I work, right? So what I'm, what I'm finna do 
is you want to go to um you want to go to edit and you want to select track right and select explode and what explode is going to do is now you could switch between your tracks right so if you go to if you go to your tracks here you see that basically what i have is i have is i have drum stems right so now what i can do is i just click right here and that's going to bounce it and i just i just drag everything into um into the studio one arrange window all right and now i can go ahead and turn off the plugin it's going to give you a little audio tail you just chop that off Let's see, change these kicks down to negative six so we don't blow our ears. And there you go. You got you got perfect, you know, you got perfect audio drums. You got the you got the MPC swing. Um, you know, if you want to if you want to bounce it with the MPC 60 settings, you can do that in um, you know, in in the settings. And this just makes it this just makes it accessible for you to actually have like a really, you know, a really solid legendary, um, you know, piece of, uh, um, you know, piece of Akai history and Akai software to be able to create your drums in a really simple, easy, seamless, quick, painless manner. So this is CMP with Craftmaster Productions, Studio1Tutorials.com. You guys keep it simple, but do not be basic. And we will see you on the next one.